Hey, welcome back. So for this video, we're going to go over two different websites. We have Code Vendor. Make sure you Google this and that you also Google this phrase, SparkFunk Circuit 3A. So our goal for this project is to use SparkFunk Circuits 3A to develop a prosthetic arm. So go ahead and click on this first link here. And notice this is what our board looks like once we're done setting it up. So you have a potentiometer and a servo. So you're going to scroll down. First thing you want to do is check this image here. Let's expand on it. You're going to have one potentiometer and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different wires, eight wires. You have three wires, three jumper wires for the servo motor, the servo motor itself. And notice this white wire it has to go to pin number nine, whereas the red and black wire go to this location here. So make sure those metal pins get placed into this breadboard. Potentiometer is going to have two wire, three wires, one red one going here and then a black one going here. The color does not matter but it is important if you use the, right, the same color to be organized. We have two wires here. This is going from the breadboard to the breadboard and the position does matter, so make sure you put them in the right pins. And then this blue wire is going to the middle section for this potentiometer and down here to A0 or analog input. So if you set this up correctly and if you upload the, co the code correctly, if you turn this potentiometer, it'll make the servo motor turn. So we're good setting this up. So now, Go to Code Vendor or this tab here. You're going to want to scroll down. You want to hold the Control key and click on Plugin. Notice it just opened up a new tab. And you want to click on this button here since you're using a Chromebook. So click Add the Code Vendor app. You're going to click this button here to install the plugin. I already installed mine, so I'm good to go. So now the next part, we're going to click on Sign In. I'm going to scroll down. Click sign in with Google. Use whatever email you want to use, preferably your school email. You want to click create sketch. Create. And in this situation here, if we installed our plugin correctly, we should not get an error message here. So I'm good to go. And notice this drop down menu, you want to select an option that says USB zero, and this will go straight to your breadboard. So I'm going to just select this. And notice my option here is Spark from Redboard. I've already selected it before, but if you haven't, click this, scroll down to Spark Fun Electronics, and select Spark Fun Redboard. Notice we haven't uploaded code yet. We'll run an Arduino. And if you connected your board to the Chromebook, you should have noticed these two buttons, TX and RX, blinking really fast when you uploaded the code. And our upload is successful. So now at this point, let's go back on this window. We're going to scroll down and we're going to get our code. So notice this is the code for the circuit. It's already been pre-made by SparkFun. So I'll explain this later, but all we want to do is just copy the code. So notice I copied it. I delete everything here. Oops. And I paste my code. So now all the code should be here. Notice this final bracket. That's our closing bracket for our void loop. Our void setup has open bracket, close bracket. So we're good to go. Run it on Arduino. And if your circuit is wired correctly, your servo motor should be turning when you turn your potentiometer. So once again, check to see if this potentiometer is able to control your servo motor. If not, Check with me or any other teacher you have and see what happens. Anyways, thanks for watching.